What's up guys, thanks for tuning in on today's video. I'm Gabe, today I'm here with Bryce. What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing these custom interior fifth generation Camaro seat covers. And I have Recaro seats currently and I was thinking the other day, I wanna try something new and I've actually wanted to get these custom interior seats way before I even got the Recaros. These fifth generation Camaro seats, these are 13 years old, give or take. And if you use it the way I've been using it, daily driving and just, you know, <laughs> using it, you're gonna get these cracks and fade in the leather, even rips potentially, like I have over here. And well, that doesn't look really great. And these are a great solution if you wanna maintain the look and the design of these seats, but also provide a little bit of support and cover. That way you can actually keep these for long term. All right, so let's go ahead and open these seat covers. So this is actually gonna be for the front seat, driver, passenger, and also for the rear seats as well. Oh. <laughs> so, and that looks really nice. It, it has the same like pattern as the actual original OEM seats. It looks like the new BMW seats. Kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a little bit darker than your Voodoo Blue. I really wish that Chevrolet would have made a seat color in blue. They've only done it red, kind of like a whitish gray color, a black, obviously. So this is actually a really great solution if you're interested in having like that blue interior color combo. That is nice. And the feel of it is really, really good. So this looks like it's going to be the rear seats. Yeah, the passenger and driver seats. This looks nice. Look at the comparison. <laughs> Already I can tell that I might fall in love with these seat covers instead of the Recaros that I had. I gotta figure out which one is which. I think the passenger and the driver's side should be the same. Here no, the look, look, you have the the thing here for the, the seat belt. So, okay, so correct. So this one should go in here. Thank you, Bryce. This guy's a freaking genius. <laughs> so, you take, so you take the headrest out. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start putting these seats and installing them. Slide the seat belt holder here. Nice. All right, so take these and slide it in between the backrest and the leg rest area. Make sure they're fastened like that so it provides grip. Just like the backrest, the leg rest is gonna be a process of sliding in these like brackets back here. Make sure that they're all lined up like that, nice and neatly. This one is gonna go, the shorter one is gonna go towards the inside because no one's gonna really see that. The longer one that's actually going to be flush with this plastic cover here is gonna be on this side because this is exactly what people are gonna see. So these little straps over here, you're gonna go ahead and slide them all the way to the bottom section here. Again, as for more support and the leg rest, same thing. You're gonna go ahead and tighten them, put them right here on this rail here. The belt over here and on this side, you're gonna attach it right here. Headrest on. And this is officially the final product. Okay guys, so here is how it looks like compared to the OEM seats. Again, that blue color in the center looks awesome. It looks significantly better than all these fades and cracks and scratches and well, every other thing that happens to these cars when you daily drive them or for the amount of years that it have. Obviously with the exception of the SS badge, I think this looks significantly better. So now begins taking out the rear seats so we can go ahead and install the seat covers on these because again, it is for the front and the backs. You're just gonna get a large stick and slide it underneath and pop it out. That's good old fashioned American quality right there. And you're gonna push this up until a hook down here releases it and you can slide the seat belt uh, holders through the holes that were originally over here. <laughs> so for the back seat top part, we're not gonna actually take it out because you actually have to like unbolt four bolts. They're 15 millimeters. So we're actually just gonna install it without it. And the way you do it is that you just wrap the seat cover. You obviously bring it down. You wrap the seat cover in this fashion. You tighten the three Velcro uh, stitches back here to secure it and then you just lift it up here once we install the second or the bottom part then we'll be able to tuck these in here to secure it officially yeah, yeah, yeah let's bring burning. let's bring it inside bro that Mexico Sun is crazy <laughs> bro <laughs> all right so we'll go ahead and slide these straps through the seat belt go ahead and do that Bryce this is gonna go up here to the back part down here like that and then you're gonna connect it to the bottom the female end of it the cover on this side is gonna have a long strap that you're gonna basically pull all the way looped it through the side here 
and then it's gonna connect onto it like that. So you should have something looking like this. And that's gonna provide support up here, down here, and also from the side of it. Once we install this piece again in the back seat, that's where we're gonna go ahead and slide all of these pieces to finally secure it. Quite a mission to put things back, but guys, just look at this. It's looking really nice, yeah. man. You just have to make sure that you feed the seat belts through the holes. And once you do that, you, you obviously angle it inward so it fits in. And then once you've already fit both of them, Bryce, let me see the other side. Like that, you just go ahead and sit on it and it attaches it into place. You guys, this is really annoying. Like that hurts, the teeth. The teeth, yeah. Slide it again in between the backrest and the legrest all the way down. And then lift it up so his face is like this. Actually, I'll watch Bryce do it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel like you're in a luxury car now? Bro, <laughs> with the blue like that? I think you should keep it with the yellow. What do you guys think? Oh, the blue angel spec. The blue <laughs> Matches well with the exterior. So now I'm gonna take out the Recaros with the T50 wrench and screw. That's basically all you need. Two bolts and then you have to just disconnect something. So while I was disconnecting the Recaro seat connector. See that's how fast it is. Like he took, what, five minutes to take out the battery and yeah. disconnect the hook for the, the seats. Fast. I'm already done. Yeah, you're fast, we get it. <laughs> Tiger with, bro. <laughs> you fit them to me, though? No, nah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> you're so fast, you're so fast. <laughs> you can do it, bro. One more. And look at that assembly right there. Woo! <laughs> Damn, bro. These are nice. These are really nice seats. I want to try something new, something a little bit fresh. A moment of truth, boy. Yeah, these seats are significantly smaller than the Recaros. Huh? Send the Recaros. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, guys, so look at it from the front. The Recaro seat and the blue cover seat. Man, this looks so nice. Even with the one Recaro seat there, it looks pretty cool. Cause that's nice, bro. I, I like that blue color combo. I, I wish though, and I hope you guys are watching this over at, uh, uh, custom interior. I wish your yellow seats followed the same exact pattern as the blue because I think the yellow ones have it more on the outside rather than the actual inside here. <laughs> Look what I found, bro. These are Ray Bans too. These aren't cheap. Man, those are the signature, Gabe. Oh god, I used to wear this thing to like the most inappropriate Vegas. places, bro. Ve yeah, literally. <laughs> We'll go ahead and tighten that after, but look at the final product, guys. That is really nice. Well, guys, there you have it. That is the final look of these fifth generation OEM seat covers. They look awesome. Makes the car brand new, look brand new again. Yeah, literally. It's a facelift. Facelift, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it literally looks OEM. Doing it all efficiently and done right you should take about an hour to install this at most if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a like helps out significantly with the algorithm don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my content overall and last but not least don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos how to product reviews re installs etc etc guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one